Benjamin Netanyahu suggested that attacks would continue despite efforts to broker a ceasefire. We'll do whatever it takes to restore order and quiet uh, and on the security of our people and deterrence. We're trying to degrade Hamas's terrorist abilities and to degrade their will to do this again. So it'll take some time. I hope it won't take long, but it's not immediate. Let's get more from our deputy managing editor, Ross Krasny. Ross, will all of this pressure help? Well, it was very interesting to see uh, Benjamin Netanyahu on U.S. television today. Um, he was a last-minute um, addition and a, a quite a rare appearance. So he clearly took the slot with something in mind to really defend Israel at, at really the very time that the U.N. Security Council was meeting to discuss you know, how to end this devastating cycle of violence. Now, we've heard a little bit out of the Middle East uh, this evening that there may be some talks going on, uh, brokered again by the U.N., and certainly the U.S. is, is stepping up its efforts. Uh, we had Antony Blinken, the Secretary of State, <clears throat> talk to his counterparts in Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Qatar today, so he's working behind the scenes. Uh, it, it seems like everything's kind of gone supercharged since uh, Saturday's um, uh, attack or, or destruction by Israel of this high-rise building in the Gaza Strip where the Associated Press had its offices. And I think that's kind of triggered a lot of international alarm and really kicked this up to the next level. Ros, how's the Biden administration responding to the current fighting? Yes, Paul, it's very interesting. I mean, I, I tend to think that uh, Biden um, would like to be less involved uh, in in this issue right at the moment, but he's really under a lot of pressure to take both a more hands-on approach and to, you know, recognize uh, the, the concerns of both Israel and the Palestinians. And um, there's been some statements, uh, fairly firm statements coming out, um, including from Blinken, the Secretary of State, uh, um, uh, just saying that the violence must end immediately and, and reaffirming um, that uh, both Israel and the Palestinians have the same rights. And, and actually, in a pre-taped uh, pre video that Biden um, released this evening to mark the start of the Muslim Eid holiday, uh, Biden said just that. Uh, we believe Palestinians and Israelis equally deserve to live in safety and security. So I think you might start to see Biden get more involved. Certainly, he's under pressure from members of the Democratic Party as well. So we're likely to see a lot, a lot of talk and a lot of action perhaps this week.